One of my very favorite things in the summer mini catalog is the new smooch spritzes and they come in four different colors. Um, this one happens to be log cabin and I'm going to show you a really cool technique um, with a log cabin smooch spritz. Before I get started with the technique though, let me give you just a couple of tips for these. Um, first of all, when you store them, I recommend storing them horizontally um, because what happens is the glittery glitziness starts to settle in the tube over time and if you're laying them horizontally then it's very easy to shake them like this to resuspend the, I don't know, glitziness if that's a word. Um, to the glitzy particles and then get a really nice shine from your spritz. Um, the other thing is you really want to make sure that they're resuspended because if you get um, clumps of the glitz in there then it can clog the um, the nozzle for these. Now if you have um, smooch spritz that dries on the outside of your nozzle then you want to go ahead and you can take this whole nozzle off and you can put this into a bottle um, into a little um, bowl of household cleaner um, the blue stuff that you use to wash windows or something like that and it will go ahead and um, take off the extra smooch spritz for you. But I'm going to go ahead and, there we go, put my lid back on. And um, the other thing about these is that you want to smooch like you mean it, um, or spritz like you mean it. Um, what I find is that if I start to halfway push this down just to try and get a little bit, it ends up going splooshy um, and splattering all over my project. So I find I'm much better off to just spritz like I mean it. So this is a piece there, can you see the design? A uh, piece of the Presto Patterns Designer series paper, um, which is in the summer mini catalog and continues into the big catalog. And I love this paper with the smooch spritzes because you can use them to reveal the pattern. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. I'm going to spritz a couple times, just like I mean it. And there we go. And it's a little bit gloppy, but that's not going to matter because what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, let that sit for just a second. And then I'm going to take a tissue and use the tissue to mush this around. And if I decide I want a little more color on there, which I do, I'm going to spray it just a little bit more. There we go. And mush around some more. And the um, cardboard that I'm doing this on is the um, Stampin' Up! Color Catcher, which is great because it keeps, oops, like that. Um, it keeps your smooch spritz from going sideways when you um, expect it to uh, there we go. Um, expect it to go straight down. All right, let's get this wiped off. And then you can use your, um, like I said, use your tissue to go ahead and um, put this around. But you can see the really cool um, reveal that we've got now from our um, Presto Patterns paper. And the log cabin is just a gorgeous mix of browns and mustards. So the card that I did with this, um, is the card using itty bitty bits and you can see the background. I layered this on a piece of Whisper White cardstock and then onto a chocolate chip card so that you get a really um, crisp um, crisp image from the um, the smooch spritz paper. And then I have little, um, little coffee mugs or little latte cups here um, from the itty bitty bit stamp set and I've used the um, large oval punch and the scallop oval punch and a piece of the chocolate chip um, striped ribbon and then on the inside oh this one doesn't have the stamped inside okay wait a second okay that's not what I was expecting <laughs> okay we'll pretend that this is the cardstock that was in there there we go so then on the inside I used the rough type alphabet to stamp thanks a latte and then that cute little circle that's also part of that stamp set to give it sort of a coffee cup um, appearance on the side. So there you go. Smooch Spritz and Presto um, Patterns Designer Series Paper are a really great combination.